an idea. It's a reality. Tourism in Nigeria is a reality. There will be domestic tourism. There will be grassroots tourism because Arik Air has promised to give us subsidy. They will subsidize the cost of travel. So they'll build on numbers. They will encourage more Nigerians to travel to destinations where airline takes them to. ABC Transport has also committed in writing to us that they will subsidize the Nigerians that will travel at the grassroots level all over Nigeria so that everyone can afford to travel within Nigeria. So it's no longer a question of because I'm rich, I will enjoy tourism. Everybody can enjoy tourism in Nigeria. Final question. Yes. Come back. Final, okay. Final question. Um, this NOU that's being signed with the Gambia, um, is, is it in furtherance of the Gambia Air stagnant situation or has something been done to, you know, to, to make this possible? Because for a very long time they've been trying to uh, gain routes, air routes into Nigeria, which has not happened. How is this MOU going to you know, work with this problem or has it been resolved? It's a beautiful question you asked because you mentioned it to me yesterday. They were very excited. We're going to have a tripartite relationship. Arik, the Gambia, and Nigeria. They have told me what they would like. They would like Arik Air to get more involved in how trips, tours are packaged. So that has solved our problem. Uh, getting an L air route, airline route, we may eventually come. But the partnership that we already have with Arik is something they're very excited about because now they're part of the inner relationship. And something I also think that is important that to mention is the fact that NTDC, with its board of directors and the management team, has very clearly linked and hooking our strategy onto the transformation agenda. What is our role? We want to know what we can contribute to the transformation agenda of Nigeria. There are two major things that worry us there, which we feel that we can participate in. One is poverty. What are we going to do about poverty in Nigeria? What are we going to do about jobs? So these are the things that NTDC is very focused on through innovative projects, through partnerships. Yesterday we closed our relationship, our uh, uh, MOU with uh, the World Bank and um, the IFC. They're already working with projects with the trade, uh, trade and industry. For investments and the tourism aspects of it. So we're talking with financial institutions outside Nigeria. How can you invest in projects in Nigeria that will create jobs? So creation of jobs, that is what we're focused on. And there will be projects that within a year things will start to move. So we're very focused on that. And we want people to know that Nigeria has a lot to offer. We have festivals, we have a short shop festival. We have uh, uh, sites that have been uh, UNESCO uh, what, certified heritage, heritage sites, you know? Yes, we have World Heritage Sites in Nigeria. We have a lot to offer. That's just too but we have so much, so much. What we're doing, the final thing I want to say is that the key thing about domestic tourism is that we have six geopolitical zones. The plan is, in reality, I'm here for the witness. Will be there, infrastructure will be there, it is airborne, the 
headline is there to provide subsidy to people who travel there, the governor will ensure that there is infrastructure and access to that place. So one tourist site by geopolitical zone is all we're aiming at in the first one year. Once we can achieve that, we have something to offer the tourists that comes to Nigeria. Apart from the beautiful meals we offer, apart from the cultural and the carnivals and the festivals, and the film industry and the religious tourism and the oil and business tourism. Thank you. Coming in here. Other African countries are coming in, very interested in things we have to offer. And um, other, other countries are here. And apart from that, we've made an effort to visit other African countries and we're having a meeting this afternoon to round up what we started yesterday, talking about regional collaboration. For example, Gambia is saying to us that they're so hungry to partner with us that they're very happy that we've reached out to them. Because what we want to do now is, number one, training. We will offer training for our team to ensure that when Gambia has a full capacity for the tourists, they will pass it on to us. Then we're looking at uh, a, a one-stop shop to West Africa. So we're trying to set up a West African uh, tourism uh, team. What do you call it? Uh, partnership. Where all the countries in the West African uh, countries can do things together. So you buy a ticket, you say, why don't you do Gambia, do all that, and end up in Nigeria. So it's uh, four countries in one suit. So we're trying to have partnerships like that so that the African tourist has a very pleasurable and meaningful experience. Because Africa, we're all linked like a chain. Each one connects to the other. We can't work in isolation. And that is what this is all about. Collaboration with our other African countries so we can have regional tourism. Tomorrow is Nigeria Day. Yes. A lot of things. What does Nigeria have to offer? What are our tourism assets? Our people are most important assets. Our friendly people, our warm people, you know, way hospitable people, our tourism sites, our festivals, our cultures, so many our arts, and above all, our, our movie industry, our music and entertainment industry. For example, there are three major areas where we're very strong. Business tourism is very strong in Nigeria, but we want to take it the next mile, extra mile. If you come for business, how about having some leisure to go with it? And we'll create tourism experiences for those who come to Nigeria, so it's not a one-off business transaction. We have religious tourism in Nigeria. So these are things, we have the Nollywood, who have on their own projected Nigeria, put us on the map out there. We want to partner with them, collaborate with them, and show the world that we're very proud of Nollywood. Um, talking about aspects of tourism, um, I, I have an interest in golf because I've um, reported golf before. So, what um, are you doing as regards golf tourism, especially as it relates to Nigeria? There's already a relationship in existence which we shall assess and see the way forward in continuing that relationship. Okay. I'm not ready for press conference. <laughs> so, I'm not ready for press conference. <laughs> yes, 